So we have an issue. Second issue so far. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so annoying. <laughs> Dang it. I'm sorry, I need to get my thoughts together. <laughs> and you know, they look so fun. So I went on Google and I was like, Martha Calvo necklaces. $170 for one of those small choker bead, ne bead necklaces. Absolutely not, I refuse to spend that much money on a bead necklace I can make at home myself. No shade on Martha Calvo. They are very obviously fun enough for me to go on Google and try and see if I can afford them, but I do not have Martha Calvo money. But I do have Michael's, Joann's, and Hobby Lobby money. So I'm gonna make them myself. Here are all of my materials! Yes! I'm not that creative when it comes to arts and crafts, so I am gonna look at a few pictures to try and mimic and see if I can get like a pretty cool replica. Boy, I'm so, okay, so first, wait, 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 let me, <laughs> let me call that. What was I about to say? And the one thing that I wanted were like the little yellow smiley face ones. They weren't there. So I have to just settle for with what I have here. So here are some of the issues that I foresaw. So I was just gonna use like one of those little uh, strings and just rope them on and tie it. But then I thought about it, if I wanted to have one that's like tighter, like not like a choker, but a little bit tighter, it wouldn't fit over my head. So I needed something that I could clip and unclip. So I bought some self-made or already made chains instead to make up for the choker pop. Or you're gonna have to make one that you can hook on. I can't do that. Oh my goodness, I would mess up. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to leave a comment, like, subscription, anything to make my day. Oh my goodness, how did I know this was gonna be an issue? This won't fit over the chain. How? Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so annoying. <laughs> it won't even fit over the, like, the big circle ones, cause this, uh, I knew this might happen. <sighs> I knew this might happen. So that means I'm returning all these chains, but now how am I gonna have, like, the choker ones? I don't know. Whoa. So I guess we're just gonna use these ones even though they won't even fit over my head. So I'm just gonna have really longer ones, I guess, but it's better than having none. It's better than having none. I can't complain. We're gonna start with the one that's mainly pearls. I'll have a picture. I know some of you are interested in how my move to LA is working out. Um, It's so far at a standstill. Not a standstill, it's more so waiting for answers and waiting for some information to come back. It's not so much the act of moving that has me nervous, it's a lot more so that I have to be an adult and pay bills that are that's making me nervous. But I think I'm gonna just do it anyway because I'm gonna have to learn to pay bills sometime soon. <laughs> um, I don't know when to stop. So we have an issue, second issue so far. So this here, it's like a little, I don't know, plastic one that I used for this one. Like this is like, I don't know how to describe it, but this is like a thread and the thread keeps unraveling and is getting too big to fit on here. So I'm literally about to go to Michael's right now and get one that's similar to the one that I did originally. So, all right, let me show you guys what I got. Little snack haul. So I got these leather ones instead, but the, honestly, like I have a feeling these are gonna be too big too. Oh, they are. I'm so mad. I should have known. I was looking at them. I was like, these are kind of thick. Dang it. Let me just show you my little snack haul. Okay, don't judge me, but I'm like a really big fan of white chocolate. White chocolate Kit Kat. And I've tried the white chocolate Reese's once. And I don't remember them that well, so I'm gonna try them again. More white Kit Kats. Mm. White chocolate Reese's. Definitely a weird mix with the subtleness of the white chocolate, but like the overwhelming taste of peanut butter. But I like it. I like it. Now I got one that's fine, that has like fine enough like thread, like it's small enough for them all to fit on. And so what I did for this one, I just did three pearls and then something, each like little trick. I don't know, it doesn't literally look that cool to me, but 
I think when I get to layer them, when all of them are done, that'll be the coolest. So I think I'm gonna make this one as short as I can. I bought these little pieces to maybe help me connect them without needing to like use a chain. So, excuse me, I'm gonna try that out. Yeah, guys, the little connector thing works. However, it does feel a little, I don't know, on the weak side of things. So I might like try and super glue. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. You're supposed to stuff like the part of your necklace inside this thing, but I don't know how that's supposed to keep it from falling out. Like, look how easy it just pops off. Okay, this one is done. I want to show you guys, but I want to let the glue completely dry before I put it on. But Martha Calvo, I think I'm coming for your neck because <laughs> this doesn't look so bad. Obviously, hers is a little more professional. Like, she doesn't have to super glue anything on, but... All right, so this is as far as I got on the second one. It'll look pretty cool layered, especially with this one. Ah, I'm so excited for all of them to be done. I think I'm gonna do like four or five, because then that gives me some versatility. So here is my second completed one. I'll show you it on. It says live life, you know, very basic. I am very uninspired when it comes to little quotes like that, but trying my best here, guys. I think I'm doing a pretty good job. With it. All right, so this is how it looks layered with the two. It's coming together. I don't think I like this one that much because of the letterings. I think it needs to be paired with a more basic, you know, combination of colors. But the next one I'm working on is I'm gonna do flower, three pearls, flower, flower, three pearls, flower. I think that'll be a cool little basic combination that will go with like most of these. I know this is gonna come from, I know this is gonna come as a shock to you all, but I, Davari Bass, have been working an incredible amount. I've always hated working. I've always only worked 20 hours a week, and I think I'm either really close to or basically at like almost 40 hours a week, maybe 30, 35 hours a week. I was having a bunch of car troubles maybe four weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, something like that. And I had to drop like $3,000 for my savings to get everything fixed, get the transmissions fixed, yeah, get the transmission fixed. All this giant work on my car, I spent all that money. Obviously, that's gonna do some damage to my savings, so I have to make all that back up. Is there like anything new in your lives? I wish people commented more. I love comments. I love just being able to respond to people and listen to their stories and just, it just always makes me so happy. There's been this thing with me recently, and I don't know what it is, but I have been very, like, passive. And not passive, like, oh, let people run over me. More passive, like, I'm tired of, like, making decisions. Like, I just want to kind of go with the flow, see where the light, see where the road takes me. I don't know. I feel like I'm always the person that's, like, that if I wasn't talking and, like, engaging in the conversation, that it would go nowhere. And I just want to be the person where I can just like kind of sit back and enjoy the conversation without making it feel like the conversation's only going on because I'm talking. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense. I don't like an excess. Like I don't like it when it feels like their decisions are relying on me. Now I like having some influence on those decisions, but I don't like when people rely on me because I don't have all the answers. No one does. I'm actually dying for how these are coming out. Like these are actually, I was having my doubts about them, but now that I'm starting to like layer them, it's starting to come out really cool looking. I know it's getting dark. I know the quality has been reduced because the lighting is gone, but I will show you now all of my pieces. My stupid camera ran out of space and all of that just disappeared. Basically all that I showed you was that I layered them all. They look cool. Um, uh, necklace by Davari. Necklace by Davari. Necklace by Davari. Martha Calvo who? Martha Calvo who? Because I just destroyed her. Kidding. I looked at the material that Martha Calvo, I mean, I can't keep saying Martha Calvo. I'm just gonna call her Martha. That Martha uses, and they're all very expensive, like Swarovski pearls. Like, they're, they're very nice pearls, which is why they're so pricey. But if you wanted to do it cheap on a budget, it's definitely easier and cheaper, a lot cheaper, to just do it in your house. Here's just a close-up and some better lighting of all of them. I, I can, I'll try and show you the back as best I can, but. 
Very fun, very fresh. They're definitely a decent Martha Calvo dupe. So, thanks for watching. Bye. I'm about to take Martha Calvo out of business. No, if anything, this is more publicity for Ma Martha Calvo. Why am I like not looking at this? <laughs> As if I'm giving her much publicity, but I mean, if this video ever did anything, I would give her publicity, I guess. Okay, my camera is about to die now, so.